How many turtles do you have in here? Um, oh, look at that. Wow! So is your husband the gardener? Is this the man coming around the corner in the middle of working? <laughs> what a beautiful dog. Hey Lassie. That's a wombat, not a koala bear. They're vicious. He's protecting the automatic dosing system. Richard, what do we got here, buddy? All right, well, this is uh, the small Aquascape Pond Kit that we put in a few months ago. So I love this because this is a newer certified contractor, yeah. so every time I'm asking, it's usually a few months ago that you put exactly. one in. Yeah, we, well, we've only been dealing with you guys for 12 months, so you can hear the pond. I hear something. It sounds like a wave pool. This is their entertaining area, so when we came to give the quote for this pond they actually wanted to put the pond right down the back here of course always so i sat here with them for a little while and i had a chat and i said why don't we put it up here where you can see it because this is their entertaining area their it's living their area. area yeah i mean look at these um, seats right here from the dining area there from the the el fresco here absolutely perfect and those fish are ready to eat So we built the little waterfall. It's so cute and quaint. And they had that little bridge there, so we said, well, why don't we add a bit of a creek? All right. So they could use the bridge. At the moment, they've got a few frog problems, so we've pulled a couple yeah. of rocks out to catch some frogs. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so she doesn't like the sound of the frogs, no, huh? But um, at night, it's pretty easy to catch them, so I'll sneak back up. And, and look at this blooming, beautiful iris. Yep. Is that like a Louisiana iris? That's a Japanese or a iris camphor. Okay. Um, wow, look at these plants. It doesn't even look real. <laughs> so this was a, a tight little spot. We had to bring the ex excavator in right around the house up on top. Oh, I see that, yep. And because this was here, when we were digging, we couldn't really spin much, so we had a little petrol wheelbarrow. So we turn around and dump the soil in the wheelbarrow and yeah, 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 and brought all the rocks in. And this bridge was in their garden; they just had it sitting up there. And so we said, "Well, well why don't we put a little creek in and have the bridge open?" <laughs> What was the motivation behind getting the water feature? Just, I think, just, I think, to <laughs> enhance the garden, I suppose. Uh-huh. And how's it been so far? Oh, no, it's beautiful, yeah. Yeah. Just apart from the frogs that can be just a very <laughs> bit noisy at times. <laughs> yeah, no, it's lovely. And it's the, the water's very awesome. soothing. So is your husband the gardener? He is. is this the man coming around the corner in the middle of working? <laughs> He's looking his absolute best. <laughs> How you doing, sir? I'm the pond guy, Greg, from Chicago. So whose idea was this? Uh, probably not mine. I can't take much credit for that. Your idea was to build a frog pond? Well, no, not a frog pond. <laughs> <laughs> nothing further than from the truth. The fish are beautiful. Uh huh. And the waterfall is lovely, but the frog is driving us mad. <laughs> <laughs> the grandkids love it. Of course very, they do. They're very tempted with the rocks, though. They're, they're Throwing them in. Hard to actually be. Oh, that's what. And, and you know what? That's what kids rock. should be doing. Yeah, not get them outside and get them away from the video games. So, what a beautiful seating area. So, when you originally were thinking, you were thinking more down there, away from the house, right? Are you glad you put it in here? Build it and they will come. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? You caught the frogs and then what? Yeah, stepmom's French, so I took them around to her place and she oh, she she cooked them. Cool. <laughs> 
So, because you didn't like the sound of the frogs, now they've been made into frog legs. Very animal oriented. <laughs> so, this is not your puppy, he just visits? This is my mum's. She frogs comes up most days. It's the first time I've seen pastas in Australia. And it's a very common. Gorgeous, Lassie. And here's the thing it is nature. So, when you put it in an aquascape ecosystem pond, the birds will come, the animals will come to drink, and frogs and even turtles can come in and that's part of the ecosystem and I got to tell you as nice as grass is to maybe look at this is the largest agricultural crop in the world is grass but it's got the least redeemable value for the animals and so to be able to have a water feature where things get attracted to birds butterflies native wildlife it's such a better thing to do than just a lawn and that's what I love about my job is exposing more people to live in the aquascape lifestyle so apparently Melbourne is four seasons in a day. Yesterday was 41 Celsius, which is 108 degrees. And today is 12. How many turtles do you have in here? Um, seven. Yeah, let me guess. Are you seven years old? Yeah. Ah, how cool is that? Seven turtles. So we are with Richard from Bell's Water Gardens, who's been a certified contractor since you came to Pandemonium last year. Well, actually, only probably about the last six months. There's turtles in this pond, right? Oh yeah, this is a great pond. I like turtles. <laughs> uh, Ponte's collected turtles for years, had them in the little fish tanks, and then uh, she said, why don't you guys build us a pond? So we did. Hello. Are you the turtle lover? Yes. I love you already. I'm the pond guy. That's what got me into the business. Oh, I like that. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is gorgeous. I love that stream. So did you have turtles before in a little tank? And yeah. the, this is like the Taj Mahal for turtles right here. <laughs> That's a fantastic headway that you've got there. I love that stone. Watercress. Yeah, the watercress. And this is not a very big backyard. Yeah. yeah. Are you a turtle lover too? <laughs> All right. How you doing? Do you like coming to Grandma's house? Is it fun? Show me the turtles. I don't know where they are. Where do they hide? Show me the turtles. They <laughs> normally hide under the big rock or under the... Um, the log? Do they ever sit up on that branch and sun themselves? Sometimes. What kind of turtles are they? Uh, long necks. Long, oh, Australian long neck turtles. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. Wow, this is so cool. Australian long neck turtles. And boy, what a great habitat. So, what were they living in before? Really hope. Aquarium. Yeah. Oh my gosh, these guys got to be so happy. One of them is named Shell Shock because it's a baby one and it has a little piece of his shell on. What's his name? Shell Shock. Why do you call him Shell Shock? Because it has a bit of a uh, his shell cracked off. Oh. <laughs> what is that? What is a turtle nest? Oh, he goes underneath. Yes, they go under there to lay their eggs in the sand. Have you had any babies? Have they laid any eggs? So six months or so, half a year? So the warm weather now, the chances are they will lay eggs. Okay, so what was involved with the construction of this? Well, this was a, a mess. There was an old shed, some old trees. Mm -hmm. So we came in basically, Fonte wanted to build one to take up the whole place, but her husband said, no, we'll just slow it down a little bit. Uh -huh. So we managed to stretch it in. What a nice design. Jake and Toby came in here and excavated it all. We tidied the whole place up, got a couple of trees out of the way, bits and pieces. They just wanted a nice sound of a waterfall. Mm -hmm. um, they wanted a nice creek, so we decided to put a little deck out the front uh, and run the creek right through back in. We've got two pumps in the leaf skimmer. Yep. One runs the waterfall, the biofalls all the time, and the other one they can turn off if they want and they can leave the creek yep. off. We wanted to get a turtle enclosure. Yes. And when Jeff suggested it, he looked up and saw a little little one on the, you know, made out of timber. Yep. And I said, no, I like something natural. And we actually went in and we found one. It was a little video that we had. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you found something? <laughs> and that's how you find aquascapes of Australia and then obviously Bell's Water Gardens. Yeah. I once on YouTube um, because I watch YouTube every night. You do? <laughs> you like my channel? Yes. Are you a fan? Yes. All right. I like <laughs> it. I got one fan right here. Super fan. So you like the ponds and stuff too, huh? That's cool. Oh, your husband was a little bit not totally bought into a pond this big. Um, well, he said a little bit bigger, but I wasn't thinking he meant this big. I think he meant a bit smaller. Uh -huh. But anyway, 
I want you on YouTube on my top bunk. On your toe in your bed? <laughs> and you like the channel, huh? That's good. Well, now you're going to be on YouTube. You're going to be able to watch yeah. yourself on YouTube. How cool is that? Yeah, cool. Hey, tell people <laughs> what they should do if they like these videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. How could you not like this? Like, <laughs> comment, subscribe, and see cool girls and hip grandmas with awesome water features. <laughs> I love my job. <laughs>